Hello and welcome to More Than Organized Monday. I'm Miriam and today we're talking about the three steps you can take to streamline your life. Um, it's the connections you need to make to have lasting results when you get organized. I talk about this a lot, but in kind of different ways and attaching it to different um, other concepts. And so I just wanted to go over the whole roadmap that I use with my more than organized clients because it's been years in the making that realizing there are some pre-steps to do before you get organized that can help you have really long-term success. And that if, on the other end of it, you might want to connect it to something you want to create, whether it's a business or creative endeavor or just more life. There's some ways to figure out how to um, connect it to your work. So it's not about finding your uh, purpose, your life purpose. It's more about creating what you want in your life. So I just wanted to give you a quick little overview. Um, I created this uh, streamlined connection methodology. Again, I'm happy to share this roadmap with anyone that um, puts a comment in the, the post. I'm happy to send you a PDF. But really, it's three layers of things. We want to do um, mindset, simplify, and focus. Um, and the mindset then goes across and the simplify goes across and the focus goes across. And I'm going to talk about mostly the mindset pieces today and I'll cover the rest later. Um, but it, the interesting thing is it doesn't really matter what you do first. It will all help. It's just the, the using the roadmap is the fastest way through it. Okay. So don't panic. If you forgot to do some early steps, you can backtrack and do them uh, whenever you're ready. Um, and sometimes there's just enough overwhelm that makes starting at the decluttering phase the right way to start. Okay. So I don't want, you, there's no wrong way to do it. I just want you to know they all end up connecting up in the end. So it's kind of like um, jumping into a pond before you know how to swim, right? Do you want to learn how to swim or can you learn how to swim if you've been thrown in? Could go either way, right? <laughs> Okay, so technically, um, yeah, you can do these in any order, whatever's bothering you the most, but the simplest way through, the fastest way through is to start with my mindset, always, always mindset. And in my world, that starts with knowing what you want, who and how you want to be. That's how you develop a satisfying and meaningful life. If you start with just what other people think or what you've always done, your end result isn't necessarily going to feel like a change or it won't feel like the change you were expecting and then disappointment can set in and then you're not going to really stick with it. So starting with what you want and determining that can take some time and it's worth it. It's kind of like on the other end of it, the marketing. Everyone hates doing the marketing, all the pre-work for marketing, but you got to do it or you don't get the good result in the end. Um, yeah, so... Do you want to live a satisfying and meaningful life? And what are the steps you need to figure that out? And then the second piece of mindset is your relationship with money. I use a modality called sacred money archetypes. It helps you determine who you are naturally in regard to money. The It's kind of a set of characteristics that's a shorthand for how you're probably going to deal with money, which allows me to understand how you're going to deal with your stuff and your relationships and your time. And so it's a shorthand because how you do money is how you do everything. But it's also that area, especially for women, that we don't think about a lot or we don't want to think about or we pretend that we don't want to think about it because it's not feminine enough or something. I'm not really sure what it is, but women have traditionally not really been taught how to deal with money. And so you make these spending choices without context, without filtering it through your satisfying and meaningful life. And you wonder why you end up with a bunch of stuff you're kind of disappointed in or didn't really need or want, but it piles up and it feels like everyone else is spending money on it. So you should too. So we want to bring you into alignment. So your spending habits are also in alignment with your satisfying and meaningful life and the things in your life. Okay. So the actual physical things are affected by what you spend your money on. Right. And maybe money is a big struggle. So you never 
quite get ahead, but you're spending money on all the wrong things. All of these things come out when we use sacred money archetypes and allows you to re-empower yourself to make better decisions about everything in your life. So that's why I like using sacred money archetypes. It's a very fast way of getting to that end result. Literally like 90 minutes after we do it, you will start noticing difference. Okay. The third thing is understanding your relationship with time. I told you it's connected to the money, but it's also connected to the things and it's connected to the expectations you set for yourself in your life. And so having that knowledge ahead of time allows you to figure out why maybe you haven't gotten organized in the past. I hear it all the time. People don't understand how long it takes to do things. They think some things are super fast when really they take a long time and other things they put off because they think they're going to take a long time and really they take just a couple minutes. And so sometimes even just a couple seconds. So I want you to become more aware of how long things take and how that's affecting your overall daily results about your space, your environment, how productive you feel at the end of the day, which helps attach itself to your satisfying and meaningful life, right? We go to bed feeling productive and like we made a difference or an impact on something we're working on. It's such better feedback than I didn't get everything done, right? And we want to avoid that. So we put these three things into alignment, what you want, how you relate to money and things, and then how you relate to time and you get a better result in the long run. All right. Just so you know, a little preview of the next two layers. Again, simplify is next. Once you have that mindset stuff, that pre-work done, there's just a few quick exercises. It doesn't really take that long. Sometimes the satisfying and meaningful life takes a little bit longer, but it's not that long compared to how long it's taking you to get full of clutter, right? And that's what we're trying to get rid of. Simplify things, streamline your whole life, set up the systems and declutter the stuff so that you, the systems work well. That's the simplify stage. And that's when we actually go through everything on your schedule, everything, um, all the paper in your life and all the clutter and all the things in your life and evaluate them against what you just planned when you were looking at your mindset and who and how you want to be. And that way we have something to base decisions on, right? And you end up with a better result. And then the third is the focus. And that's where if you're taking uh, your life to the next level, you're incorporating your work into that satisfying and meaningful life. What does that look like? How much are you going to work? What are you going to work on? Is your job satisfactory? Do you want to start a business? Do you want to start a creative endeavor? Do you want to give back to the community? Do you want to start a movement? What does that look like for you? And there's some systems that are a little different than household systems and life systems that you'll need to take a look at. So that's for those of you that are that are doing your own thing. Although understanding the business systems that help you focus on doing your best work, allow you to be more satisfied and feel meaning at the end of your day and allows you to move up in your career, whatever that may be. All right. So just want to remind you, uh, we'll see you again next week, except that next week is actually Labor Day. So we're taking the day off because holidays, right? We don't want to overdo it. Um, so I will see you in two weeks. And in the meantime, don't forget to like, follow, tell all your friends, share this video, um, whatever you want to do. Contact me. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you would like a copy of the Streamline Connection Roadmap so that you can see how to start creating uh, a satisfying and meaningful life uh, with your um, lovely building blocks to how to, to get your mindset, your physical space and your um, goals and dreams into alignment and um, make it easier. So yeah, in the meantime, do all those things and I will uh, have, I will bleh, 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 send you on your way to have a delightful day. And uh, thanks for dropping by.